The bolt parts and the bolt hole must be thoroughly cleaned before fitting the bolts. The coupling hole bore is measured, and as the sleeves are supplied 4% oversize on nominal diameter, they are simply machined to suit. The sleeve is fitted onto the bolt shank, and the resultant assembly is easily fitted into the bore in the clearance condition. The bolt is mounted in two stages. The first stage is to expand the sleeve, the second is to stretch the bolt to give a high clamping force and lock the nuts. The tapered adapter, which enables the tooling to be used, is then fitted into the tapered thread insert in the end of the bolt. Next, a mounting collar is fitted over the adapter. This centralizes the sleeve in the bore. Finally, the tensioner is fitted to the end of the adapter Hoses are connected and the tensioner is pressurised to the expansion pressure given in the instructions. The shank is pulled through the sleeve, resulting in the sleeve being expanded to become truly fitted in the bore. The return valve is opened on the pump and the tensioner piston is retracted. The tooling is then removed. The second stage of fitting is to preload the bolts to ensure that the flange faces are in contact and to lock the nuts. The nuts are then fitted to both ends and hand tightened. The nut driver and adapter are then fitted. The distance collar is fitted over the adapter. And the tensioner is screwed onto the adapter and hydraulic hoses are connected. The tensioner is pressurised, stretching the bolts and allowing the tommy bar to tighten the nuts. Once the nuts are tightened, the pressure is then released and all tooling is then removed. The bolt is now installed.